Hi everyone, welcome to Covered Bridge on TV8. My name is Kim Fuller. I am the co-owner of Jaunt Media Collective in Westvale and the editor-in-chief of Covered Bridge Magazine. And I'm Bobby LaRue, the other co-owner and the director of partnerships at Covered Bridge Magazine. We have the pleasure today of sitting down with Jennifer Weintraub, a longtime local here at the Vale Valley. She's a fantastic creative who does a lot of contributing to Covered Bridge Magazine. So we're excited to have Jen on the couch today here at Covered Bridge on TV8. Welcome, Jen. Hi, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So I, I just mentioned you're a longtime local in the Valley. How long have you actually been in the Vail Valley? Or well, Eagle River Valley? Yeah, I've been here for almost 15 years. Amazing. Um, I came here, like many people, just for a winter. And I, I don't know, I kind of, I've found a husband, I found a job, we found a home. And this is, we, we love it. And this is where we like, raise our family. Um, and I have two kids who are three months and two and a half. And Jennifer does uh, a lot of contributing to Covered Bridge. Mm -hmm. You've done photography. You were our cover uh, photographer last summer, a beautiful yep. mountain bike shot on the Grand Traverse. Yes. And you do style for us, which, you know, she's a great consultant <laughs> for that, obviously. And the Thank article you, that we're focusing on today is about mountain mamas and tips mm -hmm. for postpartum specifically. Mm -hmm. um, so for the summer fall issue, uh, the title of the magazine, yeah, Tips for Mountain Mamas, The Truth Behind Postpartum Recovery. And uh, Jennifer was sharing with me earlier that the, the article was a struggle for you. And tell me a little bit yeah. about that. So I originally pitched you the article. I was probably two weeks postpartum, and I wanted to still be in the magazine, so was, I wanted to send you something. And I just, anything I wrote, it didn't, it didn't sit right. And part of that was I was writing this when I was had a newborn, you know, one or two months old, and I'm working during naps and nights, which are these tiny little windows of like one hour to one and a half hours. You're not on a ton of sleep, you know, our sleep is pretty good, but you're just not yourself. You're not focused, and then you have this little window, and you're like, okay, sit down and be creative, right, go. <laughs> and like, things just don't, you just can't turn on like that, and I think that was why I struggled through this is getting a clear mind without any distraction of all the other million things you have to do that are running through your mind. Um, and also because I was in it, you know, writing this about postpartum recovery, like I hadn't even recovered yet because I was so fresh and in it. But I knew this being my second pregnancy, I had learned so much from the first one. I had a better plan of what I was gonna do with this pregnancy. So I, I did have a better idea. And I've been working with, um, with physical therapy of pelvic floor specialists. And so I knew a lot more going into this one. Um, mm -hmm. But it was really tough. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, well this quote <laughs> and um, Mm. I, I'm going to read this just to set the tone for, mm. I think this, this poured mm. out of you in the sense of like, this mm. is what I was going through with the article, mm -hmm. but also in the moment, in the sense it's um, not exactly what, the expectations can be, can be different than what yep. you may, maybe have thought, especially you, know, you had already had one baby and then you had another, and mm -hmm. so different experiences. Um, so Jennifer writes, within six months of giving birth, I thought I would feel like myself again, but I was far from healed. Many women, especially those who were active before and during pregnancy, expect to, expect to bounce back quickly. I was surprised at how long my body didn't feel like my own. Recovery from pregnancy takes longer than most would expect, even for the fittest of athletes. Stephanie Drew, a certified women's health specialist at Howard Head Sports Medicine, says it's normal for it to take up to two years to feel fully recovered. Yeah, that was a big surprise for me. <laughs> So I started working with Stephanie Drew. She's a physical therapist at Howard Head Sports Medicine who specializes in women's health and pelvic floor. And during my second pregnancy, I had so much pain in my lower back and shooting down my leg that I couldn't, I could barely walk. Eventually it went away. I think it was just how the baby was sitting, but I started going to her to see what we could do. And in going to her for that, I started asking all these other questions about, okay, well, we're not really solving anything right now, so I just have to let it go and embrace this is where I am and do what I can, which is walk when I could. And then we started just talking about what do I need to do for postpartum? And you know, my first pregnancy, they said at six weeks, you're cleared. I'm like, okay, great, I can start running. And I told her that and she, she was like, no. 
Not that you can't, but running is such a high impact sport on your pelvic floor, which is stretched so much during pregnancy and your core, which is stretched. And so now you have no stability in your core. That's the stability for all movement that you do. And so you can start exercising right after pregnancy, but not those high impact sports. And I had no idea. So I actually followed her directions this time and waited the full 12 weeks to start running. But that was when she said it, it takes two years. Up to, it can take up to two years. I was really surprised when you think about it. And women, you know, your body's being stretched. Your hormones are crazy. And it just, <clears throat> there's a lot of things going on in your body. And if you were to have, if you have knee surgery, yes, you can ski the next year but you don't have that full strength in your knee. You're not skiing to the same level of aggressiveness that you were before surgery. Probably your second season, you're back skiing as aggressively as you were before. And I just didn't think about that with pregnancy. You just expect, okay, six weeks, you should start healing again, but it takes that long for everything to recover. And not only that, for you to build your strength back up. Um, so a few things I found interesting when I was talking to them were, you know, one of them is your body heals and recovers when you're sleeping and new mamas aren't sleeping very much. Mm -hmm. Um, so it takes a lot longer to recover. So I've noticed this time, sometimes I feel great and I run and maybe I'll do it one or two days in a row and then I'm exhausted. And so you have this level of exhaustion that you don't have when you're totally okay. And you're, it just takes a lot longer for your body to recover um, because of sleep, because if you're breastfeeding, you're still sharing those nutrients with your baby. So it's not, your body still isn't your own. And I was surprised to hear how long it takes to actually re regain um, your endurance, your strength, and your fitness. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty interesting. Um to hear that from you know, my side of things, right? It's like we just get to kind of observe and obviously you see the, the body change and you see the body react, um, but to understand that from an athletic standpoint, mm -hmm. you, know, you being a pretty big mountain athlete, mm -hmm. you're, you're out there on your bike, you're out there hiking, you're out there doing all these mm -hmm. things. And what has also helped, you know, you, you mentioned physical, but is there some stuff you're doing for the mind to just remind yourself or, or some mantras or things that you have to, to get you through those tough times of when you might want to go running, but the body is not reacting the way you want it to. I, so I've really tried to embrace doing what I can and just having um, grace and patience through the mm -hmm. process. And some days that's easier than others. Obviously, it depends how much sleep I get, how much coffee I've had, like, <laughs> you know, but it's doing what I can. So when I don't feel great, like just getting outside, like I'm going to go for a walk and, and wear the baby and, you know, just getting some fresh air is great. Um, finding the support of, of mom's groups um, is great and just taking care of yourself. But I think it's just trying to embrace like, okay, I can't run, but I can walk. I can't do this, but I can do this. And so trying to have just patience in the process because it takes a lot longer than you think. And just like you're recovering from an injury, if you had knee surgery or shoulder surgery or any other surgery, you would give yourself that patience You'd be going to physical therapy. <laughs> you'd be taking care of yourself and you'd have that time to recover and you know it would take about two years to have that strength and that muscle mass back. Mm. Well, wow. you speak to that. I mean, it's pretty amazing, uh, that side of things. But I've noticed from your social media, I've noticed from you know keeping an eye on what, what you and your, your family is up to is uh -huh. you really haven't seemed to skip a beat. I mean, you're still <laughs> out there adventuring. I see camping. I, I think I've saw international travel already. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty exceptional. Can you offer any advice to some moms out there to like, yeah. you know, I'm not, my life isn't over. It's no. what, what is that? So we've changed our expectations. So we did go to Mexico with a three month old and a two and a half year old. And I think the hardest part was getting a passport photo for a five week old. Cause you have to have them sit still and that's just not possible. So, but our expectations were just we're going to eat good food, we're gonna have some drinks, we're gonna relax, we're gonna to go to the beach, we're gonna to go to the pool. And like, we didn't have these big expectations. Like, yes, we miss like our big trips where we used to like hike all day and bike all day and like 
you know, take motorbikes through Indonesia to these waterfalls and like all these crazy adventures and it's, we're not there right now. And so it's okay, let's, we're trying to focus on the things we can do. So camping, like Fruta is a great spot for kids because we can take loops and do that through the campground and finding other friends who are in the same boat as us because then we can do girls for go for a ride, guys go for a ride and trading off. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, I see other people's adventures and it's, it's hard. I'm like, man, I, I really miss that and I miss doing that. And we're like, it's just for now. Like they're little and it's just for now. So it's like, what can we do? But in that we've also found other destinations and other things to do. So it's, where's a spot that we can go hiking? And we found, you know, we find different things where, you know, other than like, we're gonna go to our same places that we always go, like Moab and Crested Butte and all these places. And we haven't been to Moab in years because it doesn't, all, they're all big rides and they're mm -hmm. spread out. So mm -hmm. we miss it, but what can we do? Mm -hmm. And so there's, I think trying to shift that focus and it's not always easy, but it's more important to get out and do something than to stay at home and do nothing. And like, you're not always gonna have everything right. Like when we went camping, I, I packed like the wrong clothes and I forgot this and I didn't do that. and it's a learning experience. And so I didn't get it right, but I'm like, okay, so next time I wanna bring like these pants or this toy for them or whatever it is, but like you only learn by doing. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, like sometimes failure, you learn the best. Like you just, yeah. like you have to get through it. But I think the fear of holding back is worse than staying at home and having that regret. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll have to potentially have a follow-up piece that's <laughs> adventuring with kids, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll continue to have Jennifer contribute to Covered Bridge in ways that you know are so interesting to readers, and mm -hmm. this has been um, very interesting for all of the viewers and definitely um, a worthwhile conversation and, and more to come. So yep. congratulations thank on you. baby number two thank and you. continuing mm -hmm. to get out there with your family. And thank you so much for contributing to this Absolutely. issue. Definitely pick it up, uh, summer and fall, the journey issue of Covered Bridge magazine. And this has been Covered Bridge on TV8. We'll see you next time.